Okay, so we're going to install or we'll remove some trunnions and then once I get that down, we'll install some trunnions. So this is a comp cam uh, trunnion tool for LS. And then I'm reading the instructions. It seems fairly simple from what I gathered so far. And I really don't think I needed this tool, but I knew I was, I'd probably be doing more of these in the future. So if this is gonna make things better, then I prefer it because I have changed one of these without this tool already. So it's magnetized, so that's pretty awesome. And then pretty much what I gathered is you set it, the tool in device, as you can see. You're gonna actually set the rocker arm because you can see it's grooved in it, like so. And then on the next page, we're gonna take our other tool and we're gonna place it against it, something like that. And then we're gonna push it out. And it's gonna shove out that way and I think we're gonna have to go back and do the other side. I don't know, we're gonna find out. So let me set this up and I'll show you what So happens. this is the offset one, which is for the rectangle port heads. And I'll show you, see, see this, your trunnion moves so much. And for what I understand is when you got high lift cam, that will break these by, cause you see it, it locks out. See how it hits there? And that's what breaks them. So, but either way, in our case, we're not gonna find out. So let me get this in place. Boom, so it's in place. And then literally with one hand, you'll see, you'll see it starting to move. And that's it. We'll loosen it up like so. Take this side out. Let's see if this one broke. Yep, this one fell apart too. And there we go. A lot more needle bearings. So I got about, what was it, 14 left. So I'm going to knock this out and get all these cleaned up and get ready for assembly. That was really enjoyable and really easy. But see our mess here. So I got to clean all that up and I got pins down here too. But here's our rocker arms. I'm gonna put them in the parts washer and take a little scotch bright and just kind of just run over everything. And I'll go through those and then we'll get our, uh, once this is cleaned up, that's scrubbed up, that's cleaned up. We'll get our, um, our bronze trunnions and get ready for install. Okay, so we got everything cleaned up and just helped more inspecting everything and a little scotch bright here, scotch bright around each one of them, scotch bright on the pad. Just, you know, putting your hands on everything and just more eyeballing it. So these are, this is the uh, bronze guys we're using. Our precision valve train components, got it from uh, Texas Speed. Here's a kit, it's all pretty. So we're going to read the instructions here. And then I'm gonna see, I know I'm gonna get some snap ring pliers. And I think it's gonna be fairly easy. Um, so, but we're, we're gonna read instructions and see. See what happens. So I know there's a big deal about people putting these on wrong. Um, they'll to put the bolt head on this side or on this side. So something we got to make sure we pay attention to. Uh, we at least we got a sticker. Okay, so we're gonna take this rocker, pretty much. That's pretty much what it says is grab you a, a bushing. Stick it in, which it goes in easy. Pretty much flip the bushing over onto a flat surface. Take the actual trunnion itself. Stick it in. Now you take your bushing. Uh, at this point, it says get your uh, snap ring, but simulate the snap ring was put on. And then you're going to take your other one. And boom, we would, if I had two hands, I would get that bottomed out. But bottom it out, and then you install your snap rings, and that's installing your trunnions. So I'm going to get the snap rings on now, and uh, as you can see on this one. Oh, so y'all remember how y'all showing you how there's there's limits on the other one, but look at this. So no limits. 
at all. So that's the difference with a high lift cam. You don't have to worry about that trunnion destroying itself on that, on being limited on the edge there. And it's held in. The biggest thing is that what they did is some of the other trunnions, they kept the actual roller bearings. They just put snap rings. There was no snap rings holding any of those other needle bearings in. So once uh, there was failure, it just came apart. And so the snap rings is about the biggest upgrade. But I decided to go with the bronze ones. I don't know. Just the I couldn't find anything that just made my heart made me feel good inside. And uh, the with the kits and then availability in the market, and, and these are available. And uh, I had already had bronze trunnions on my other motor, and I got probably like ten, twenty thousand miles on it. The last one we put in El Camino. So the, those were Smith Bros. Like I said, these are the uh, C8 C. HEs. Um, but yeah, I'm going to finish it.